Welcome to one of the best four season campers on the market, folks. This is a 2023 Lance 1995. This is an awesome couples model, comes in right around 5,000 pounds dry, about 7,000 pounds GVWR. And I love a ton of things about this one. I mean, first of all, with that weight, look how big this slide is. You get this massive U dinette, which you wanna talk about some excellent seating. This one definitely provides it. You can easily sit forward here. This drops down into a bed. So that if you have guests, you still have a place that they can stay the night. Windows all the way around. And speaking of windows, folks, these are dual pane acrylic windows. Uh, it's gonna be an upgraded. They're used a lot in Europe, but the reason I really enjoy them is because they're lighter weight, which is how another way they're able to get the weight down a little bit. But again, they're still dual pane, so you're getting that excellent insulation value. Uh, but as I mentioned, I love the seating in here. It's kind of the leather this is the bronzite color you can get the gray cinch a little more gray and then they have a blue hue as well so if you want something a little more trendy you can go with the blue now right up front is the murphy bed i know this is kind of a make it or break it for a lot of people in an rv this size or about 24 foot overall i personally really like having a murphy bed because it gives you that extra seating it gives you that extra space and again it is easy to make up i mean you simply take out the uh, armrest there you drop this down and then you simply take your mattress and fold it right over got our bedspread here and you know a lot of people when i talk to them you know if, if you don't want the mattress uh, as is a lot of people will just get like a foam topper throw it on there you will never even know this is a murphy bed nice and comfortable you can see over to the side one of the things i really like about lance when it comes to the woodwork is that everything is cnc machine routed if i open up these drawers of course full extension ball bearing drawer guides on there uh, everything is it's clean it's precise you have wardrobes on both sides, the shelf across the top. The front windshield is going to be a huge bonus. That's Lance was one of the first ones to do it years ago, and I love that it is still on there. One of the coolest things about this that other RV manufacturers don't have, folks, that front windshield opens. That's right, you can open that sucker up, which is awesome. You can also see that you have both the day and night shades. So right now, you have the screen up, so you can open it up let in the light, let in that cross ventilation. Boom, just like that, you can have full privacy. So if you wanna be able to sleep in or you want privacy at night, you can just fold that right up. And also for privacy here in the bedroom, there's the curtain to close across. Some additional shelving right here that they built in, electrical outlet. Of course, you have your thermostat. This will control the roof mounted AC as well as the furnace. Comes with an extra clock. <laughs> Gotta be able to know what time it is, I suppose. Um, then right over to the side is the TV. This is on a swing arm so that you can watch it in the bedroom or swing it around, be able to watch while you're cooking, watch in the dinette. And then right underneath that is our JBL sound system, multimedia center, absolutely gorgeous. You get the speakers there too. You can also see the solar. This one has the Go Power solar controller uh, right over to the side by the nightstands with your outlet. So if you need to plug in like a CPAP machine or cell phone or anything like that, you have the capability to do so. Uh, right here is our uh, refrigerator, so we have that. Uh, over to the side is the three burner recessed cooktop with the oven. And I love the fact they actually put in true solid surface countertops, especially when you're talking about a weight sensitive unit. A lot of times they will uh, you know, go for a lighter option, even though I'm a big fan of solid surfaces, I'm sure you are too. So I love that they opted for it. You'll notice the backsplash and they actually did a side splash. So many travel trailers cut out the side splash and I love the fact that they actually included it in here. Tank monitoring panel right up top. You have uh, like the Technoform European style cabinets right up top here. I love the curvature on them. Take a look at that. They tucked away the microwave. What a great move. That way you don't have to see it. And then over to this side here will be your storage. You'll notice the LED light up there too. So it, uh, it lights up in case you're getting in there at night. High rise faucet, recess sink. You have the uh, American stone cast sink, an excellent sink. It won't burn. It doesn't scratch nearly as easy as a stainless steel sink. And it just looks cleaner. Stainless steel, although it looks super great when it's clean and polished and brand new, as I'm sure you're aware, it takes some work to keep it looking like that. And then electrical outlet underneath our GFCI, plus we have additional storage. Lance has these bins, which are pretty convenient because you can actually take these outside. You know, the, the part of the reason of uh, camping is getting outside. And with that camper, 
you can take them outside. You can put the dishes in there when you're done eating, bring them back in, wash it in, uh, wash it up. I just love that you kind of get some of that flexibility. Another big thing is with storage, right? In a smaller RV, you want to make sure you have lots of storage. Take a look at this. Boom, huge drawers in the bottom of that U-shaped dinette. You will have that on both sides, which I love. The light right at the top of our uh, slide out right there is on a dimmer switch. So if you want to dim that down, you can do that nice and easily. You have a vent uh, right up here. That's a smaller fan. You do have your, uh, I believe it's the max air fan right up above the bed. So uh, that way, if you want to open windows and not use the AC, you can pop that one on and be able to get that, uh, that breeze coming through here. Then as we take a look at that, you know what, I'll step in here. Let me step in the bathroom just kind of show you space right so this is a porcelain bowl you can see here with the door shut i still have plenty of room toilet paper holder off to the side you get kind of like this built-in shower curtain which you know is it the most expensive thing no but it's functional this way it actually has a track in the bottom so it's not flopping all over making a mess and so i do actually rather like this and then when we step in the neo angle shower again not the biggest shower in the world but i can certainly do what i need to do and it comes with the shower miser system if you're not familiar with that it's a little blue 90 degree elbow. And what that allows you to do is it's a, a recirculation uh, valve so that when you're trying to get hot water, you can flip that and rather than wasting all the water going down in the shower into your gray tank, it just recirculates. Then once this turns white, you can flip it and then you will have hot water. You're not wasting all that hot water. Great for boondocking. Light right up top, you can see uh, you know, down below you have the medicine cabinet. Again, American stone cast sink in the bathroom as well. You have the single post faucet with some good storage space underneath there. And then of course we have our uh, hand towel ring there as well. A few last things before we head outside. You'll see the wardrobe. This will be your main, uh, probably clothes storage for the most part. But if you want, you can always use it for jackets too, right? You do have uh, some different options here. You can see that you have some pull-out drawers. Right underneath is a hot water heater, wa uh, water heater, super easy to access. And you have additional storage right over to the side. So you definitely have some good storage there. The majority of your controls will be right up here, including the uh, Carefree Colorado awning, which we'll see in just a minute, and our slide out control, your lights. You have your key ring down below. And take a look at the door. I love the Lance door. The only thing that I've seen that is as kind of beefy as this door is, is like on an Airstream. Big fan of that. And look at that, has a built in sliding screen. So you can keep that door open, have the screen. They definitely do it right. When it comes to camping outside, whether it's warm weather or cold weather, Lance has you covered. All right, let's take a look at the outside of the Lance 1995. Starting off right up front, folks, this is the Lipper Smart Jack. What I love about this, well, it has hitch memory. So what that means is when you go to hook back up, you can literally touch a button and it will raise right back up. So you can just drive it uh, back up your tow vehicle, drop it down, and you are good to go, really making that much simpler. If you have the beautiful propane shroud rather than having just your standard black box on there or nothing at all, I really like the way that they have designed that and you get this gorgeous three-quarter front cap with that big windshield we saw earlier. You can see the LED lights right up front here on that cap too. Making our way back a little bit further, you get the solar prep on the side. Now, speaking of solar, this one is prepped for a 190 watt panel, which is an option, and you can get a second 190 watt panel. So you can have nearly 400 watts of solar on this if you choose, and you can get the optional inverter on there plus optional lithium batteries. So if you're looking to do some off-grid camping, this one has the ability to do that. Something I really love that they did in the Lance is this. You wanna talk about full utilization of your pass-through space. How often do you have things on the other side and you can't get to it, right? Well, here, you have this big pull-out tray, so you are able to access anything. That way you don't have to worry about a pass-through. It opens up some storage on the other side, which is there unless you get the lithium option, but you have that extra storage there and this awesome tray, perfect if you're taking out fishing poles or really just accessing anything in there. This one also has has your uh, automatic powered or not automatic sorry powered stabilizer jacks with the uh, uh, feet on there the nice big pads super simple and easy to use the controls for that are just tucked away right in here another thing I do want to point out you get a magnetic catch and actual slam latch baggage doors and I say that because these have metal components if you look at this slam latch it's a higher quality than what you'll find on most travel trailers a lot of times
times. There'll be the plastic uh, Challenger brand. This one is just a much better slam latch. Here's that acrylic window. That, again, that dual pane window, you can see how it has opened up and the Carefree of Colorado awning. I really like this. A lot of people call it armless, which isn't true because it has arms, but they're just going to be horizontal rather than vertical. The big advantage of that for you is that it doesn't impede your campsite at all. I don't know if you've ever uh, you know, been out camping and you go to get up or you're walking, not paying attention, you smack into the arm of an awning. Never a fun thing to have happen, so I really do enjoy that. And there's a wind sensor on there too, so it just rolls right back up. You can see the, uh, the attachment here for the JBL sound system if you want some uh, music out here. And you also get the TV mount. So if you want a TV, boom, there you go. You have the connections for it right down underneath that. Speaking underneath, there's a couple things I want to talk about. One of them will be the road armor suspension, folks. This is something, again, you normally don't see on a travel trailer. It's just one, of the, one more sign showing how this is a higher end travel trailer. Also underneath, when you talk about fully enclosed and heated underbellies, where a lot of times you will have like, it's almost like a cardboard material that they use to put underneath there. They'll put a heat vent in there and that is what will heat the underbelly. With Lance, they actually take a tank and set it within a slightly larger tank. So there's a little bit of space all the way around and then they put a heat duct right into that. So it superheats that tank to ensure your tanks aren't going to freeze up on you. Uh, and then of course, they also heat the rest of the underbelly for all of your water lines and everything else. Again, that's part of what makes the Lance one of the best four season campers currently on the market. So we make our way back a little bit further here. You can see your nice easy foldable steps, uh, just aluminum treads on there so they're not going to rust again. We have that door. Look at the look at the thickness of that door, right? Nice European style door. There's also is a shade here. I do want to point that out. So again for privacy. So if someone is coming to the door, you know you can uh, you have the option of closing that off. You get the rear ladder. Now, again, sometimes it's the smaller things that I really enjoy on RVs. When you're talking about Lance, take a look at how thick that ladder is. Next time you go and uh, checking out travel trailers, compare this ladder to that one, and you can just see just how much uh, beefier this one is. So it just helps you feel a lot more secure when you're climbing up on that roof for any kind of maintenance, whether it's to get up there just for your you know, annual check, or if you're getting up there to brush anything off the roof. It also comes standard with a backup camera rather than prep like most other travel trailers out there, which just helps you back up, make sure you're not gonna hit anything, helping to avoid some of that damage. It has a two inch receiver so that if you want any kind of accessory, a bike hitch, something like that, uh, you can slide that right in there, 300 pound weight capacity. So it does give you some of those extra accessory options for carrying more items. Uh, outside shower will be right here as well as your water hookups, black tank flush, our 30 amp detachable power uh, supply is right there. And something else I wanna point out folks, this right here, this is crucial if you're talking about winter or four season camping, and that is if you have to have insulated valves. If your valves are not insulated folks, they're gonna freeze up. You're going to have issues when it comes to draining water. They have insulated the valves inside that body. Again, making sure those valves aren't going to freeze in that cold temps, that is crucial. The slide out system, you can see right up top, they, uh, this one does come standard with the slide out topper, which is wonderful. I love the fact they put that on there. So any debris or anything that falls down, you don't have to worry about uh, it jamming up the seal. When you put the slide in, it'll just fall right off. The other thing I wanna point out, can you come right around here, Aaron? Let me show everyone. You see this piece of tape right here? That seems minor, right? Well, most manufacturers don't do that. It's just one of those small things that Lance does because there's going to be a seam where these two pieces of plastic come together. And so when this goes in, it just helps make sure that your seal, your bulb seal right here, doesn't get cut by that seam. So again, it's some of those little, uh, just paying attention to some of those small details that in my opinion is kind of that Lance difference. You get big storage underneath that U-shaped dinette. You know, they're not trying to waste any space. You get all this outside storage. Again, the magnetic catch. Up front, you can see our other compartment there as well as uh, space for our battery. And then you can see right down here, some additional storage, some more valves. I'm telling you folks, Lance does an outstanding job if you're looking for a four season camper.